Hi, I'm Barbara Coots. I'm a partner relations representative for the seed company in the partner development uh, department. And um, ask why. This is my why. As I listened to Scotty Perry's testimony, I realized that the Word of God is the foundation of my why. When you have a very personal encounter with God through His Word, you cannot mistake the sharpness and the sureness of this mighty sword. When I was in my early 20s, I sought the services of a spirit healer. I wasn't sure what that was, but I was physically ill with thyroid disease and I was trying all sorts of remedies and therapies to find a natural cure. I heard a spirit healer was coming to Dallas. What I encountered was a Christian minister from the Philippines preaching fervently from the sure, swift sword of the Spirit. The two key passages were 1 John 1, 8 and 9 and James 4, 10. They contained very basic concepts, but they were profound truths I had never truly heard before. I had attended church erratically all of my life up to that moment, and I had been dabbling in the occult and Eastern mysticism. If we claim we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and not living in the truth. But if we confess our sins to Him, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all wickedness. As I heard this, my sins flooded my mind as God showed me exactly what He wanted me to see. Then, humble yourselves before the Lord and He will lift you up in honor. When I heard that, I went to the most private place I could find, the restroom, and got on my knees confessing my sins and to Him and begging for forgiveness. The Spirit Healer told us that our bodies may need healing, but the most important healing was that of our spirits. By the time I saw the Spirit Healer face to face and He asked what I needed healing for, I said, My spirit! He anointed me with oil and prayed for the healing of my spirit and my body. Our sweet Savior Jesus Christ filled me with light and bliss and I knew from that moment I would follow Him all of my days. Hebrews 4, 12 through 13 says, The Word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow, it exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. I experienced that reality that day, and I know the living word is changing lives wherever it is spoken, read, or signed in a language that people can understand. Hebrews 4.13 says, Nothing in all creation is hidden from God. Everything is naked and exposed before His eyes, and He is the one to whom we are accountable. A sobering thought. I am accountable to him. That's my why.